assalamu alaikum class today we are having lecture number 20 from chapter number 7 and the topic is narration narration being very important part of your uh, of your syllabus and very compuls and compulsory part of your paper as well why because there is always a question of 10 to uh, 12 marks in your paper about the narration so you need to learn this question uh um, in in a very proper manner you need to learn the rules you need how we are going to change the different types of sentences into indirect sentences see there are two ways of reporting the words of a speaker in english grammar there are pointer is not good let me change it there are two ways of reporting the words of speaker the first is called as direct method and the other is called as indirect method okay what do we mean by direct what we are going to see in to do in narration actually we are going to change that direct method of expression into indirect method and that involves many rules we are going to learn those rules and we are going to practice a direct statement into and to change a direct statement into indirect statement first of all for example he says comma he is not well today this is called the direct statement why because it is having the exact word of the speaker so this statement is called called the direct statement of the the speaker okay and this actually this direct statement of the speaker has been combined has been presented by combining the two clauses this these are two clauses this is called main clause and this is called another main clause two independent clauses okay and these two clauses have been combined this with this connective comma or conjunction comma okay but this clause has got a name that is called also been called as reporting speech this is called as reporting speech reporting speech and the exact word of the statement or the statement within the, within the quotes is called as reported speech reporting speech and reported speech these two names are very important and we will be using these two names and whenever we'll be learning the rules and whenever we'll be changing it see fine reporting speech has got three positions firstly it might be in the beginning of the sentence or before reporting speech sometimes it might be at the end of the statement for example he worked hard although he couldn't succeed teacher said the reporting speech is followed by the by the reported speech like reported speech is coming after the reported speech it sometimes it is sandwiched between two reporting speeches reported speeches for example i will see you tomorrow 
he said although i am busy here this reporting speech is sandwiched between two reported speeches this is one reporting reported speech this is the second reported speech and here the reporting speech is sandwiched between two reported speeches and here this is reporting speech is after the reported speech so we can see that reporting speech is found in three positions that is before the reported speech after the reported speech or within the two reported speeches fine now we are going to see this reported speech has has this this symbols which are called as punctuation marks whenever we are going to change the report the direct speech into indirect speech first of all we have to remove these punctuations so what is the alternative which we will be providing when we are going to quit or omit this punctuation marks for example he said i will i he said i will not come tomorrow if i am going to change this direct speech into indirect speech first of all i will have to omit these punctuation marks how come he said that i will be using the conjunction that by removing this comma and these open these these double quotation marks i'll be using the connective that then secondly this is the first change i'll be bringing in it then secondly i'll change this i this pronoun this is the second change i'll bring then i'll change the verb and in the end i will change this adverb as well so i'll have to change i'll have to make a lot many changes fine while changing the direct statement into indirect statement okay and how these changes will be brought they have got different rules which we will be studying one by one first of all we have seen that these punctuation marks will be avoided in the in the indirect statement by the use of that over here okay i have used this word that in place of or by removing this quotation marks no the second change is the change of pronoun okay for that change is made we are having certain rules which are we which we are going to study those particular rules so that we could make that change easily that rule that change is called change of pronoun change of pronoun i'll be using two terms which one reporting and reported speeches why because to give the reference of the the pronouns first person pronoun first person pronoun of reported speech reported speech will be changed according to 
subject of reporting speech for example he said said i am not well today this is called reporting speech and this is called reported speech this is called first person pronoun which are first person pronoun i and we are called first person pronoun this first person pronoun of reported speech will change according to the subject of reporting speech okay uh, what i will do i'll make it like this he said that he was not well that day this is what we are going to change i'll tell you afterwards in the change of verb that how i change this am into was and today into that day okay here here in this particular at this particular point i am just teaching you how to change the first person pronoun according to the subject of reporting speech this i is the first person pronoun i'll changing i will change it according to the subject this is called the subject of reporting speech and i have changed this i into he according to that rule no rule number 2 this was rule number 1 of change of pronoun rule number 2 is what rule number 2 is this that second person pronoun that is called you is changed according to object of reporting speech according to the object of reporting speech okay for example he said to me he said to me you are not a good student okay this is called reporting speech how i am going to change this he told me i'll tell you afterwards how this said has changed into told first here we you, you have to focus on the change of second person pronoun he told me that you is the second person pronoun this is going to be changed according to object who is object over here in the reporting speech me he is the subject said is the verb and me is the object i am going to change this you according to this me he told me that this you is going to be changed into i second person pronoun changes according to the object of reporting speech okay that i was not a good student okay there is another case of the second rule what is that case see sometimes we do not find the object in the reporting statement okay sometimes the reporting speech is just closed with the subject and verb for example he said you have done well
you have done well here i do not find any object to change this you accord according to that okay whenever and so what is the rule of the you whenever object is missing the the rule is this when object is missing second person pronoun of reported speech changes report changes to first or third person accordingly like what we might change that you into i or we or we could change that into he or she they as well for example in this case he said that here i have no object for this you so what i am going to do i am going to change it that i had done well i could change it into i he she whatever i want to use i could use it it does not make any difference in this statement so the second rule was this whenever the object is missing in reporting speech the you is changed to first or third person according to the statement or accordingly now we move on to the third rule of change of pronoun what is the third rule that third rule must be about the third person that rule is it was second b fine third rule is what third person of reporting speech of reported speech never changes for example he said he did his best he said that here i am not going to change this he into any other word it would remain the same he said that he had done his best okay third person never changes fine it is not affected by the subject or the or the object of the reporting speech it was about the change of pronoun how we are going to change our pronoun of a reported speech and how it is influenced by the presence of subject and object in reporting speech now we are moving to this was the first second change first change we made about we have made in the use of that fine second we, we have made in the use of pronoun and third change is about the change of thirdly we are going to change how we are how we are going to learn how we change the verb that is called change of verb or change of tenses first of all change of verb in the form of tense number 1 rule simple present simple present of reported speech if the reported speech has the tense of simple present it must be changed into simple past rule number 2 present progressive is changed to past progressive rule number 
present perfect is changed to past perfect. Rule number four, present perfect progressive is changed to past perfect progressive. Rule number five is, this was all with the change of the four breakups of present tense. Now we move on to the past tense. How we change it? Simple past into past perfect. Number six, past progressive into into past perfect progressive. Number three, number seven is past perfect into past perfect progressive. Sorry, past perfect into past perfect. It remains unchanged. Past perfect remains unchanged. Rule number eight is past perfect progressive also remains unchanged. Past perfect progressive. Okay. This was the change of the two tenses. The future tense is changed according to the change of helping verb and model verb. We need to have that table rather than this form. Fine. This was with the change of present tense. These are the four breakups of present tense. And these four are the breakup of past tense. We have seen in detail individually how one tense change into other tense. Simple present into simple past. Present progressive into past progressive. Present perfect into past perfect. Present perfect progressive into past perfect progressive. And again in the simple past into past perfect, past progressive into past perfect progressive, past perfect remains unchanged and same is the case with past perfect progressive. Okay. Now we move on to the change of helping verb. We call it another rule that is called change of helping verb and the change of model verbs. Helping verb and model verb. Number one. Has, have, into, had. Number two. Do, does, into, did. Number three is and are into was and were. Number four, know about the model verb. Will and shall both would change into would. Can is going to change into could. 
मे इंटू माइट फाइन शुड और टू रिमेन्स अनचेंज रिमेन अनचेंज ओके दिस वॉज विद द यूज ऑफ मॉडल वर्क अगेन वी हैव सम चेंज इन द अदर एडवर्क एंड सम डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज चेंज ऑफ डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउंस एंड एडवर्ब्स we are going to practice all these changes after learning the all rules demonstrative pronouns and adverbs rule number 1 is this this is called demonstrative pronoun that changes to that these is called again into those okay today is going to be changed into that day tomorrow will get changed into the next day yesterday is going to be changed into the previous day okay last year last month month or moment all of them they were going to change into the previous year month and all that okay this is called the change of adverb and change of demonstrative pronoun if any change is left we could always and in the practice we come to know any other word change of the word we could always practice them okay this are these are three rules how we are going to change our direct speech into indirect speech now one by one we are going to apply and practice how these rules are apply are applicable to change or to reverse our direct statement into indirect statement now we are we are starting with the declarative sentences first of all there are all there are there is a change of all types of sentences from direct to indirect that involves declarative interrogative imperative optative and subjunctive all the tenses all the sentences are changed respectively from direct to indirect sentence fine involving all the changes first of all we are going to change to learn the change of declarative sentences what do we mean by declarative sentences declarative sentences are those sentences which deliver an information or a message fine and we are going to see how this message is changed from one form to another like from direct to indirect he said you have not done well fine this is called reporting speech as we have already read this is called reported speech fine we could make it in first of all simple present he said you are a good student okay reporting speech and reported speech we are going to make one by one all the changes which we have read first of all we are going to avoid or omit these 
double quotations and this comma find by the use of he said that second person pronoun changes according to object but the object is missing so what i am going to do i am going to change this you into i or he respectively he said that i we have read in our change of ed of verb that is am are are change into was were this are is going to change into was that i was a uh, you are a good student that i was a good student and full stop at the end remains unchanged okay so we have brought two changes in this reported speech fine how come that i have changed this u as well as r u is involves the change of pronoun and r involves the change of verb is am r change to was were u changes according to object object is missing and what have what rule we have read that whenever an object is missing we change that into first or third person accordingly okay so now we move on to the present progressive it was a tense from simple present fine we can have some other example of simple present he said he speaks truth always he said that he speaks third person pronoun never changes speaks simple present fine that remains into that uh, simple present is going to change into simple past but here i am not going to change it why because whenever there are the facts and the and the real habits they remains unchanged this is a fact fine so whenever a fact is there in the form of simple present that is not changed he said that he speaks truth i am not going to change this speaks into spoke according to the rule what we have read rather whenever a simple present statement is a fact or a fine or a proverb or a fact or a universal truth that remains unchanged that remains unchanged whenever remains unchanged so this is a fact we are describing about him that that he always he speaks truth always okay now we move on to present progressive he said <clears throat> i am doing my job unwillingly without my intention or without my hmm. okay he said that first person pronoun changes according to subject that he is am are was were is am are change into was were or on the whole if we see if we find out the tense of this state of uh, the this sentence we see this is present progressive so on the whole we can we could change it into past progressive that he was doing no this is the possessive case of pronoun first person it is going to change into the possessive case of this third person pronoun doing his job unwillingly remains unchanged 
that he is doing he was doing his job without his choice this is called how present progressive has been changed to past progressive present progressive has been changed to past progressive okay now we move on to present perfect teacher said we have done great job teacher said that now this is first person pronoun first person pronoun changes according to subject but whenever we have the pronoun the we we always change into they teacher said that they had have changes into had they had done great job this we is change into they that they had done great job okay now we move on to present perfect progressive this was an example from present perfect you could take the tense of the sentence as a whole or you could change it with respect to helping verb as well you could learn it any of the way you like okay no last example of the tense of present progressive she said she has been reading for 2 hours this is present perfect progressive this is an example from the tense of present perfect progressive how we are going to change it she said that third person pronoun never changes she it remains unchanged has been reading present perfect progressive we are going to change it into past perfect progressive that is what had been reading for 2 hours that remains unchanged for 2 hours this is how we have changed a present tense into past tense with the help of the table which we have learned in the beginning that was table of change of verbs see how we have changed one form of present tense to the other form of past tense tomorrow we'll be practicing inshallah in the next next lecture we will practice how we change the past and the future tense according to the rules inshallah